Hey folks, Tim here. It is week eight of the nine week wilderness bushcraft semester class. We're into October. Look at the beautiful foliage behind me. We've got all the aspen trees and birch trees turning yellow. We've got the reds and oranges from the maples and it's fantastic. So we're prepping for a 48 hour primitive survival exercise. And uh, late in the course, guys are finishing up all the journeyman requirements. We've got guys working on pack baskets and behind me here next to the pond, we're building a boat. So sometimes we go out, we have canoes, but what we're building here is gonna be a primitive coracle made with brush and a tarp. Now I was once uh, stranded, marooned if you will, in Arctic Norway on top of a mountain and the people that uh, put me there had the forethought, forethought to give me a boat to drag around with me. So. We haven't built one of these uh, in a while, but brush and a tarp, and we're gonna make a boat to float. So stick around, should be interesting to watch. All right, put it in the water. <laughs> so step one, we have to build a circle, a donut, if you will, with vertical pegs in the ground, and that's gonna define where we put all of our brush. Uh, so what that looks like. So we're gonna wrap the around here. So is this. Have you guys been in? inside that teepee that's up there. Right. We're gonna get, yeah, so we're just gonna lay all these in a continuous circle. Right, and I don't think it matters if they go one all the same direction, right? Nope, but it might be easier to wrap. So we've pulled the coracle out of our little donut frame and now we're going to attach the lattice work to the bottom as supports and then we're going to launch it. The big variable is, is our donut big enough? Is it thick enough? Is it big enough in diameter? Because if this thing, if this thing doesn't float, we just need to take it out and make a bigger donut. So these all go in the same direction. Ready to flip it? Should we set this side down and just flip it over? Yeah, right here. Yeah. Okay, so now let's grab all the other shorter sticks and all the this stuff and we'll lay all that on top. Put this on the very top and it'll be nice. Very top. You can just lay them on top, it won't matter. Because we're going to cover all that with the cattails. So if you see any big, like building a shelter, you see any big yep. gaps, cover the big gap. Good. Okay, let's layer on the next layer of stuff. So a couple, yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. So can I see that trick or a piece of that? Thinking about making it in like a frame almost. Probably being unnecessarily finicky, but Christ, what are you guys paying me for? Silverado get the job done. Can I borrow your phone? <laughs> okay, that's good. Now let's roll up the edges of the tarp. So here's our finished item here. So we've got our donut of sticks, we've got our lattice work and our cattails and stuff to distribute the weight wrapped in a tarp. And here's our brave adventurer who's you gonna- You call me Ham the Space Chimp. Ham the Space Chimp. All right. Yeah, the chimp that went into space. I'm basically doing the same thing right now. Okay. Go so let's, it, uh, can we get some guys to help launch this thing? Who's got the bottle of champagne we're gonna smash on it too before? I believe Tim it's pronounced champagne. champagne. Right, because it's French. Huh? Can you even me? Huh? <laughs> you first. Go ahead, go that way. <laughs> Bring it right to the edge of the water. Yeah. Oh, damn! <laughs> <laughs> Useless boat that's not very No, no, no. You, you have to put the paddle in front of you in the direction you want to travel and do a sculling draw. Oh. I don't know if you knew this about me, Christopher, but I was on an episode of a reality TV show where I also... Oh, 
Wasn't it a crossover? It was like uh, Middle Aged Mutant Ninja Turtles or something? <laughs> but I also had to learn how to paddle a coracle. This is the most inefficient way to move across water I've ever experienced. <laughs> but you're not wet. That's the... No, but that would be perfect, like, if you had to, like, Gear. Study. If there was a six mile an hour current, you're floating downstream. The like, frog in front of you is going faster. Huh? The frog in front of you is going faster. What frog? But proof of concept, right? How long did it take us to build that? Not very. If we oh, had to harvest yeah. everything, if we didn't have a pile of brush, it would have taken longer. But I want to see how many people we can get on it. All right. 